partnership with the state. And I'm sure that people are watching. Um, the church alone cannot do it. Our partners from Ireland, Dr. Mela and his group, have done a lot. But we would also want to plead that, and we know that the government is also assisting in many, many ways. But we believe that, you know, um, a lot more needs to be done. Especially if you look at the roads coming down here and all that. You know, um, the church is doing the best. Our partners in Ireland are doing their best. The government is trying to do the little that they can, but they could do more. And we want to use this platform to appeal to them and also to philanthropists. You know, um, spend your money in a way that the Lord will be gracious, they will be happy with you. Use your money to glorify the Lord. As you take care of these ones, the outcasts, the people who have been neglected because of their disease, you're taking care of the Lord. So let's do so. Uh, on my right side is Mr. Derek from Ireland. He comes all the time with Dr. Miller. He's been coming over the past uh, 12, years. 12 years and he's the architect uh, as far as the fund raising for this project is concerned. And any time he comes, he makes sure he works up to a certain point before he goes. Uh, so on this visit, the plan is to finish the roofing which has been done and the exterior plastering. He has also finished payment with the windows. The frames yes, have been made. Are being made. They are being made. <laughs> and so he will make sure they are completed before uh, they leave here yes. on Wednesday. Wonderful. Besides that, uh, Derek. You meet Derek. Derek. You meet Derek. Thank you very much. Yes, um, I'm really pleased to, Thank you. to meet you. It's a pleasure. And I, I know of the good work you are doing. By the help um, of Philip here. With the help of Philip. My, pre my uh, Presbyterian our friend. Presbyterian, <laughs> our Presbyterian friends. Yes. You know, yeah. in Ghana, yeah. we, do not, one. we do not do much about these denominational no, divisions. No, no, no. Yeah. No. Because um, that is good. we believe yeah. that um, yeah. the underlying factor is Christ Jesus right. who died for us. That's quite true. And we are truly grateful for the partnership mm. and for yes. allowing yourself to be used as a facilitator. This is intended to be. Uh, already we have the specialist doing his fellowship. He's finished the specialist program and he's doing one year fellowship in Japan. Uh, he'll be coming back in November. So hopefully December he will start work. And we need to finish this place as a fully fledged unit with theater offices for the doctor, the consultant and the nurses. And that is what we are also we welcome the presiding bishop to see what is in progress. The timber wood you see there are uh, some of the materials to be used for the roofing. We are expecting the contractor any moment from today. The nation as a whole, and, uh, especially when the specialized units are being developed, uh, it gives us hope that this hospital will truly develop into something. We will continue to say to our partners, our government and private individuals, members of the church who have the means, the little contribution to this hospital will go a long way to facilitate the expansion. So let's all get up and help. If the regional minister the Rahaf regional minister is listening. This is the message. This is an orthopedic unit. For the whole of Rahaf region, you have only two orthopedic surgeons trained by Catholics, Adwea and Kwanta. And 
This will be the third. Let's spend money to develop this place in the interest of the people of the region. The new OPD or outpatient department and office complex for the hospital. This project was started in 2005 and all things being equal, we are hoping to take over by the end of this month. The contractor is putting the finishing touches. You can see the bright colors around. All the fittings have been done. And the down part on my right, extreme right, is intended to be used for dental unit. We have gotten all the equipment and the chief dental officer has been here to inspect. And he promises that given the size of the space, she would give us a surgeon, a dental surgeon because it's overly above the standard of an oral health nurse. The first floor up would be for offices, administrator's office up to the accounts, uh, the chaplains, everybody will all move from the old site to this place. The town part have five consulting rooms for specialists and other medical officers. So how about that's the edifice. Government has released all the monies to the and he should have finished by last May, but he had some future. This is a clear sign of government um, check state you know, partnership in delivering the um, health services to the people. And we hope that this will continue in all other areas. Most Reverend Emmanuel Asante was pleased about the efforts made so far to give a face lift to the Wenchi Hospital. He called on the Methodist Church, the government Wenchi District Assembly and NGOs to continue to support the hospital, adding that it will go a long way to improve health care delivery. There is no two ways that Wenchi is a very important diocese within the Methodist connection. Wenchi has always been very, very important in the history of Methodism in Ghana. It used to be the headquarters of the Northern Mission and it still remains that way. Now from what we, I have seen, the develop, med, medical development are great projects that you know are taking place here, the university education wise and all that. This is a growing diocese. They have the resources in terms of manpower to do it. All we need to do is to try to encourage diocese of this nature. This is a very potential area where the church um, evangelism, social evangelism can truly be carried out. And it is my humble prayer that, you know, the people called Methodists will be willing to lend their support to projects of this nature dotted in places like the Wenchi Diocese. Wenchi Diocese will continue to be a, a place where things could happen. I'm looking forward to a time when this hospital would develop into a teaching hospital. In case you do not know, we have a nursing training institute of the Methodist University already starting. And I'm sure that by September, October, we will start, you know, admitting students. The facility is superb. Some opinion leaders at Wenchi District praise individuals and partners for their unflinching support to the hospital. Well, Dr. Mera, for so many years, you know, she has said, Boy, Wenchi Methodist Hospital, me, ma, I'm going to go to the hospital, 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 I'll first and foremost comment the Methodist Mission. In fact, they've done very much for putting up this hospital to the people of Wenji. It started very small, but now it is growing because of the large size of the people who patronize this hospital. 
Uh, there is the need for me to put in place some measures that can help the method of mission to be able to expand. Even then before, even before we have helped the Matteris uh, Hospital by building some structures, recently I commissioned a structure over there, which in fact, I can see that the Methodist Hospital are all happy, the people of Wenji are all excited with that. I want to see Wenji Methodist Hospital to that level too. Uh, finally to become a teaching hospital so that it can compete to other teaching hospitals in the part of this country so that the actual or the needed treatment or medication or attention that other hospitals are giving to other people of other part of this country who can also enjoy it here. We are always liaising with the Minister of Health. You know, we have a director here which deal with health. So we have asked the director of health, the municipal director of health, to furnish us all the necessary measures that can be put in place to upgrade the standard of Hospital. Health workers at the hospital also expressed satisfaction at the extent at which the hospital had constructed more specialized units to facilitate health care delivery. Well, we have a very beautiful story. Um, from school, I came right here to start my, I started my internship, then my work. During the internship, I realized this is a good setup that I have to, if I'm posted here, I will work very well. And then the people around are very welcoming. They received as as we came, as we knew the hospital helped us. When we came, we had nothing. They helped us to be able to stay here and then work till we were put on salary and stuff. And the hospital is really helping. Anybody who comes, like a new staff, they, can, they give you accommodation and then uh, little tips so that you can live until you are put on salary. I would describe Dr. Miller as he contributed immensely in my training as a urologist. You know, I'm, I'm a urologist now, the resident urologist in this hospital. And uh, he, he, he played a very instrumental role in getting me through my training, five years training in South Africa, to specialize in urology. Because he was thinking into the future that the time may come that he cannot come deliver the services that he's, he's, he's offering to our people and he wanted somebody who will be here to continue and God being so good I've gone to South Africa and I've come back and um, I've started from January to practice urology in this hospital so I'm seeing both the males and the females and then uh, we'll continue to, to keep this program going we'll continue to operate the VVF patients for free and that will be our contribution to improving lives. According to the administrator, all hands must be on deck to ensure that the hospital gets the needed facilities and equipment to improve health care delivery to the people of Wenchi and its environs. It is the vision of the authorities at the hospital to make the facility a Christian medical center of excellence. The hospital's mission is to provide holistic and accessible health care services in an efficient and effective manner. Precious viewers, you will agree with me that whatever that has a beginning has an end. By God's grace, we have come to the end of the presiding bishop's tour at the hospital. As Methodists, we believe that we have to set the present age in order to fulfill our calling. Now God is calling you also to come and serve him through various means. If you are ready and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior, I want to pray with you now. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the lives of our brothers and sisters in Christ and also even viewers who are willing to accept you as their personal Savior and Lord. Take absolute control over their lives and bless them. In Jesus' name, Amen. In case you want to support this program, you can get to us through our diocesan circuit and even the head office of the Methodist Church. Again, you can contact us on the numbers that are on the screen. 
Thank you, and may God richly bless you.